All right, so today I'm gonna to kind of show you guys how to create an infield design. So you can kind of see our ditch just kind of falls off and it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create a ditch to go down there to drain this water. It's real simple. Just come in here, push and hold that from your mode. Go to infield. You go down here to design and hit that black box. You're gonna create a new one down here. Uh, we're gonna use an alignment section. This is just like a simple level or a slope. Most of you guys should know about that. These get a little more complicated. I'm gonna choose focus points. Uh, that's just, I'm gonna basically trace the whole ditch. I start by coming down here and calling this our center line. I wanna pay attention to where I'm reading from. Okay, so that's that grade. I'm gonna enter that point, so. I'm reading from the left side of my bucket right there. I'm calling that center. Obviously, I don't have to mess with a lot of this, but I just kind of want to blend it. I always, when I'm doing an alignment, I always try to think right. of things like, you know, center. Uh, lay it out center line, because that's, that's, you'll see here in a little bit how you build these designs. And really the easiest way for me to teach somebody is just lay out center. So center a ditch. Then you just build half your design and then mirror it. It's very simple. Alright. Looks like we'll probably be able to daylight somewhere right here. So now it's all a matter of eyeballing it, I guess, where you want your center line got to be careful because I don't want it to cut into my road but I'm gonna say about right here I'm gonna add that point the point did not add because that's what it would do if it did so elevations are already entered because I'm choosing focus point if you had points and stuff that you would have used You'd have to have those elevations. We're gonna hit next. You got these three options now. Sorry for all the tracking and I'll, I'll edit this stuff out of the video. Okay, so we're back here in our ditch. There's three different ways to do it. Templates on other designs, if you've created a ditch like this before, it should be stored in there. Uh, you have on screen where you can draw it. A lot of people get confused because of the you know, percentage. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to be. So if you don't know, you can use focus, which is what we're doing today. And you're just gonna reach out. I'm gonna build the whole thing. I won't mirror anything. I'm gonna call this top of slope. I'm gonna make a simple V ditch bottom and back up for my finish all right so all that's done everything looks good we basically trace the ditch the way we want to dig it hit next this is why I say center line is so important if you're not doing center it, it, picking your alignment is going to be kind of hard but since we made our alignment center we always know our blue line has to go to the center line we're good. If we wanted to extend our design a little bit, we could right there, but I don't really see a need to. I'm going to hit apply. It'll take a second for that to load. Hit select. Apply. And now we should have a good solid design to dig with. And I'm going to get up over here on this side to throw dirt back. I can lose some dirt over here in this hole. And you guys got to forgive me, I'm not very fluent with the tilt rotor yet, so I tend to resort to that auto button. Is what it is, man. Probably leave some of this water and just start digging right here engage those automatics I have auto set here and on the back side of the controller it says I'm off design I'm gonna 
bring that back a little bit. I'm gonna change this. I, I'm not quite seeing it, and I may have created it a little wrong. Yeah. Uh, I need to flip that. So, okay, when it does stuff like this, you just gotta flip it. Real simple, it thinks that the short side was over here. I know that this side was higher, so I need to flip my design around. I'm gonna just go in here and hit that black box again. I'm gonna just hit these three buttons here, click edit. Next, see that short side? I That's how I knew I was wrong there. Okay, now that we have our center line is still selected, we're gonna hit this button right here and just flop it. Hit apply. Select. And then apply again. And then we should have a totally different thing. You better catch that shit quick. Alright? I'm telling you right now. I like to kind of see both of these. Thing. looks like it's working out just fine matching up very nicely See the reason I tapered that back, you can kind of see a turn in that ditch, right? We took that ditch straight, so I might have to get this water out of that ditch and then go back and redig that. Hopefully everything will match up then. So I do see our alignment is off, and a lot of that is because I didn't have one down there. Uh, but I'm pretty confident this is gonna work out. I'll just go ahead and dig it. <laughs> 